According to Abhidhamma, the higher teachings of the Buddha, various gifts that can be offered and acts of giving can be divided into six categories based on what is received through the six sense organs of eye, ear, nose, tongue, body and mind, visual objects, sounds, smells, tastes, tangible objects, mind objects. In the Dakina Vibhanga Sutta, Buddha has described four types of purity of offerings, depending on the qualities of the donor and the recipient, in an act of giving. 1. Offering purified by the donor but not by the recipient. Recipient may not be virtuous but the donor is virtuous, i.e. has wholesome volitions before, during and following the offering, has faith in the law of cause and effect, comma, and what is offered is rightly and justly acquired. So, this is an offering purified by the donor and will bring good results. 2. Offering purified by the recipient but not by the donor. The donor does not have the above positive qualities but the recipient is a virtuous person. The offering is thus purified by the recipient and will bring good results. 3. Offering neither purified by the donor nor by the recipient. The donor lacks the above positive qualities and the recipient is a non-virtuous person. Hence, the offering will not bring any good results. This is similar to poor seeds planted in poor soil that are growing poorly and with poor results. 4. Offering purified by both the donor and the recipient. The donor has the above positive qualities and the recipient is a virtuous person. Therefore, the offering will bring the best results. This is similar to good seeds planted in good soil that are growing well and producing the best results. In the Kala Dana Sutta of the Anguttara Nikaya, the Buddha has described five situations of timely giving which will bring much merit to the donor. Making offerings to guest monks and newcomers. Making offerings to traveling monks or those who are leaving. Making offerings to those who are sick. Making offerings during the time of a famine or food shortage. Making offerings with the first crops produced through cultivation.